Hello, all you empaths, highly sensitive people, intuitive coaches and healers. So today's topic is about recalling your energy from everywhere you left it. And in shamanic terms is called a soul retrieval. And the reason why it's really important is because not only do you recall energy back to you, you also remove energy that doesn't belong to you. And it's all having to do with all your relationships and people you encounter all the time. So stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40-year research career. I replaced my six-figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three-step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three-step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. Thank you so much for coming back. And today's episode is all about the relationship you have with other people and how you exchange energy with them. So every time you have a conversation with somebody, as you're speaking out, you are giving your energy away, just like right now I'm speaking out into the microphone here and I'm putting my energy into it. And of course there needs to be an energy exchange. I'm receiving energy back from somewhere, right? And it's going to be from those of you that are listening to me. So every time you have a conversation with someone, every time you go somewhere and you occupy yourself with something, let's say you're watching TV, you're giving the TV your energy. Let's say you go to the store and you're interested in buying a specific something, like you were looking for an article of clothing, you're giving your energy to that. So everywhere you go, you're leaving your energy all over the place right? Because it's wherever you put your attention here, you're leaving your energy somewhere behind. And the end result is that as you leave your energy behind, you also gather the energy from the people around you, the things around you, the places you've been, all of that, you're putting that energy back into your body. So, the end result of when that happens is that you are now a cacophony of music, cacophony of energies inside your body. And it doesn't function as well as it could, right? Because everything else has a different frequency than you do and you wanna operate on your own pure frequency. So what the way about this is to recall your energy back to where you left it, from where you left it, and also to remove the energy, the foreign energy or foreign frequencies out of your body. The reason is that you function way better when you are at your frequency, right? If you've ever seen a picture of a frequency curve, and you see a bunch of mixed frequencies, no matter what, you have a long frequency mixed with a shorter one, mixed with a much shorter one. When you total it all up, it ends up to be a lot less intense, a lot less energy than if you had your own pure frequency. And as it adds up, it grows to a much bigger intensity and you are able to function a lot better. So when I do a relationship healing, that's one of the first things that I do is to help you recall all your energy back and to give all of the, remove all of the foreign energy or excess energy out of your body. And <clears throat> there is a filtering process that helps with this. So 
you may or may not have heard me say this before, but your, if you use a filter, it would be a filter of something that's a very high frequency. And roses, for example, are very common used in, commonly used in healing because their rose oil has the highest frequency, um, highest frequency or highest energy of any living thing that we know of. Humans vibrate at a quarter of what a rose or a rose oil will vibrate at. So rose oil vibrates at 320 megahertz and, and a healthy, vibrant human at 70 to 80. So I tend to use a rose as a filter. So when I'm removing all of my energy out of my own body, all that excess energy, I put it into a rose that's grounded and then I give it back to whoever it belonged to or whatever it belonged to. And likewise, I pull all the energy back into a rose and the rose is grounded. I pull all my energy back into it and then I put the rose back in my body. The reason being is it filters out all the foreign frequencies and only gives me back my own pure frequency or pure energy. All right, so that is a way of doing it. <clears throat> uh, if you practice it shamanically, it may be something else, but basically what you're doing is you're recalling uh, all your energy everywhere. So the way that I do it is that I first ground myself, anchor up to spirit, and put roses everywhere I left energy and have an equal number of roses here in front of me, all grounded to the center of the earth. And these are energy roses that are in my mind, right? You can color them anything you want. The ones where I'm giving energy back, I usually use yellow and the ones that I want to pull back into my body are pink. That way I can keep them straight in my own mind. <clears throat> And when this energy exchange happens by gathering up all of my energy everywhere I left it, people, places, uh, things, anywhere I've left it here in my mind, I gather it all together. And likewise, I remove all the energy out of me that doesn't belong there, putting it back to all the people and places and things that I uh, that I accumulated it from. And then I just do an energy exchange, right? I just pull my energy back into me and give the energy back to where it originally belonged. And then of course, the last thing is to uh, cut the connection, cut the energetic connection to the people and places. And so usually, it's about 30 to 40 people and you can figure out who this will be by making a list of all the most significant people in your life anybody that comes to mind it could even be somebody that you met casually that you were standing in line at the grocery store and that you had a quick and intimate exchange with and then you went on your way i've had people that have even had, uh, I've had some highly sensitive people say to me that they stopped and had a conversation with somebody that lasted less than 30 seconds and then they walked away and didn't feel the same again. So these encounters, depending on who you're having them with, these encounters can be, uh, can cause you to deplete very quickly, whether it is they're pulling the energy out of you or they're putting in a foreign frequency that doesn't match with your own and interferes with it. And this keeping you clean, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, okay, now that we've done all of that with all of the people that matter in your life, now that we've done all of that, the second step is to maintain that. And in maintaining that, every time you have a conversation, oh, my bird's very excited, every time you have a conversation with somebody or you, like I uh, do a video or I teach a class, 
is that I make sure I give or do a healing. I make sure that I give that person their energy back and I gather mine back to myself and then I sever the connection. I've had three conversations today already and I'm doing that. And then at the end of this little uh, broadcast, I will do the same thing when I'm finished. And that helps maintain your clean energy and then the other tips that I've given in previous videos in which you take a salt shower every morning, you make sure you drink plenty of fluids and you keep the clear fluids, whether it's herbal tea or uh, purified water, other fluids don't really count, right? And you keep the fluids running through you to help wash it through and you also uh, run energy along your meridians, down your back channels, up your front channels, down your arm channels, and up from the earth through your uh, feet, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, hips, and back down the grounding cord. And what you're doing is you're washing out all the blocks and foreign energy. And these things will keep your energy as clear and clean as possible. And you'll also notice that you like your mind will uh, clear up and you won't be uh, having so many foreign thoughts impinging on your mind so you can think more clearly. Uh, just like when you download the wake up your brain audio from me that helps do the same kind of hygiene that I'm talking about right now. You just go to scientifichealer.com forward slash wake up brain and it will take you to where you can download it for free. And I've gotten lots of really great comments of how much better people felt after listening to it. And it's only 11 minutes. So I hope that was helpful to you today. So first, to realize that everywhere you go and everything and uh, every uh, place and every person that you uh, engage with mentally, emotionally, you will exchange energy with. So the first thing to do is collect it all back, give away anything that's not yours. The next is to also realize after every conversation and every encounter, you can do the same thing with each individual. Make sure that you do it often and make sure you sever the connection, meaning cutting the cord, right? And then the last thing is to do your daily energy hygiene to help keep you the uh, energetically cleanest and strongest that you can possibly be that will help with your mental clarity and your health and even your wealth and your relationships, keeping them all clean. So I hope that was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com and I'll see you in the next video.